Given that f1 equals 1 and f2n equals n times fn for positive integer n, calculate f2 to the tenth. Now let's write f2 to the tenth in the form of f2n and try to use this relationship. f2 to the tenth is equal to f2 times 2 to the ninth. Now this is 2n format with n being 2 to the ninth here. So then this is equal to 2 to the ninth times f2 to the ninth. Notice this is n and this is fn. So essentially this is f2n equals n times fn. Now the difficulty with this problem is the fact that 2 to the tenth is quite large. Now we've successfully reduced it to 2 to the ninth. Let's keep going. 2 to the ninth times f of 2 to the ninth is equal to 2 times 2 to the eighth. Now this is the new n. This is equal to 2 to the ninth times, we'll bring this out, 2 to the eighth times f 2 to the eighth. Let's go one more step. This is equal to 2 to the ninth, 2 to the eighth times f of 2 times 2 to the seventh. And then we can bring out the 2 to the seventh. F of 2 to the 7th. Now we can keep going until we have just 2 in the parentheses. So on and so forth, and we would have 2 to the 9th, 2 to the 8th, 2 to the 7th, and including 2 squared, and 2 times F2. Now we know that f2 is 1, so this is 2 to the 9th, ace, down to 2 squared, and 2. And when we multiply these numbers, we add the exponents, because they have the same base. This is equal to 2 to the 9 plus 8 plus 7. 2 and 1. Now we know that this exponent is equal to 9 times 9 plus 1. This is 2 to the 9 times 10. And this would cancel out, leaving a 5. So this is ultimately equal to 2 to the 45.